Hey guys, in this video I want to give you guys a hands-on look of the new VLC app for iOS. Um, it finally came back after it got it was taken down on 2011. Uh, but now it's back with a couple new features which I'm going to show you guys. And I'm also going to show you guys how to transfer um, videos from any Android device or PC or Mac um, using the browser. Like you see right here, I'm using the HTC One, and I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer files from this Android phone to the iOS device. But first, let's go ahead and show you guys the app here on the tablet. Um, when you open it up here, when you open it up, this is gonna be totally empty if you don't have videos here. Um, here you got open network stream. If you have a network with videos to stream, you can put it right here, the URL. Also, if you have a web server with uh, videos there that you can download, uh, you could just put the video uh, URL here and you will be able to download it. Also, what's new now is that you have Wi-Fi upload, which um, once you turn it on, you're going to see this address right here that starts with 192. Um, that address, you're going to use it on any browser to upload videos to the tablet or iOS device. Also, what's new here is the Dropbox. Uh, you can link this to um, your Dropbox account. And if you're like me that have, um, for example, I have my uh, Dropbox app from my phone to automatically upload everything that's taken with my camera. Anything that I take with my camera, photos and videos, automatically when I plug it in and connect to my Wi-Fi at home, it automatically uploads to Dropbox. So if you're like that, right here would be all your videos from Dropbox that uploaded from your phone. Like you see, there's lots and lots and lots of videos that keep getting added every time I take videos on my phone. Um, if you have another folder with videos, like for example, I have another folder here, I could go ahead and just download this video. I'm gonna go ahead and download this MP4 file, which is 55 megabytes large. Uh, which is a pretty decent size and like you can see it starts downloading automatically and of course the speed of it is everything's going to depend on your wi-fi strength if you have a bad wi-fi so it's going to be slow of course it also depends on the size of the file as well so if it's a big 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 file just keep in mind this is going to be very slow and um also keep in mind you can also play any video file on this VLC app like for example MKV file will play easily here no stutter whatsoever and that's done oh you see right there let's go ahead and click done done and there it is um, the video that I just downloaded let me go ahead and click it like you see right there perfectly and go ahead click here ahead that's me recording um, me at my work recording my friends shooting at the range and let's go and go back uh, now I'm gonna show you guys how to upload with your Android phone let's go ahead and open this up open this up um, keep in mind I am using uh, next browser but you can actually use any browser that you want and for example if you turn this off if this is off and you load the browser um, it's totally going to be like this error, web page not available. And like you can see, the same URL that you see here is the same URL that's been given there. So make sure this is on. When that's on and you reload here, automatically you're going to see the VLC uploader opening in your browser. Very, very cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer a video here. So all you got to click is right here, upload files. And of course, here is just like any file manager that you use on your Android phone. For example, I use ES Explorer. So click here. And of course, I could go through my files, all my folders here. But I'm going to go ahead and download a Zoe video. Let me go ahead and download a Zoe video from uh, one of my daughter's award ceremony. And let's see how long it takes for it to download. Okay, that was fast. Like you see right there, it should be here. Let me see if it's here. Okay, there it is, right there. So now that you're done here, you can put it down. Let's go ahead and see if it played. Open, and there it is. 
So, like you can see, you can play any damn video. That's this is, I believe, is an MP4 tool or, or quick time video. Let it finish. So, um, the great thing now is that I could transfer any video that I have on my phone, I could transfer it to my iPad. And like you see right there, HTC Zoe. And that's it. So basically, you can actually do this, this same thing that I did here on any browser, on any computer, PC or Mac. Uh, just make sure when you do, when you do, do do it for the first time, make sure you um, save this. Save it as a bookmark. That way you don't have to be entering it every single time. So that's it, guys. Um, that was a look at, of the VLC app for iOS and how to transfer videos to, from any device to your iOS device. So guys, hope you guys like the video. Till next time.